Welcome to Down Low on Sports Row. We are talking soccer for the entire evening, or at least as it relates to five and six. And we're leading off with a big name in international soccer. Everybody knows Oscar Pratt, who is now the new head man, or the, excuse me, I, I always use American football. You are now the manager of the Cholos, mm -hmm. coming from Dallas. You're, we're going to show your your resume to the folks uh, graphically uh, during our sportscast. Thank you. <laughs> it's an impressive resume. <laughs> thank you. So, uh, so let's uh, let's let's start right there. It's an interesting decision that you made to go from the MLS south of the border. And the was that a financial decision? Was that a prestige decision? Was that? I think it. I think it's a full package. Is is a uh, is a lot of reasons. Uh, first. I think professionally, it's just coming to the Liga MX and uh, and the competition with with the, with the Mexican league is, is huge for us as a coaches. Uh, I think at this stage of my career has been important to have this opportunity. And after my long run with the, the club, it has been my home, like uh, FC Dallas, for many many years. Uh, I consider this a, a moment that will make me grow. All right. Can we just check the audio and make sure we're hearing Oscar? Uh, He's using that right now. Okay. So I, I just want to make. Where's your microphone? I do not have. Oh, one. hang on. That, that's yeah. that's what I want. Yeah. Yeah. Let me. Go. I kind of figured we're gonna do a little audible here. Let me just put it on the outside so uh, you can have it. You want me to bring him in here? Yeah, well, yeah we're, we're rolling. <laughs> Folks, I apologize. That, that's on me. <laughs> But now I, it's important that you, I want people to hear you. Let me get this on. All right, check the audio when you get a chance. So uh, I'm, I, you're, you're making the media rounds, right? You're good? Yeah, you're good. Um, you're, you're, uh, you're up and around because we, we've had a lot of guests from uh, the Cholos. You, you guys are, your marketing campaign is, you're a big mm -hmm. footprint. You're trying to get right, people right. to come. So you, that's what you're here is you're going around spreading the word. Uh huh. How many people have asked you to compare the two leagues, the, the, the Mexican leagues with the MLS, as far as caliber of play? I, I suspect that's a question you have heard about a dozen times. Everyone. Yeah. And your answer has been? Because you can't offend either side? What do no. You uh, do you know, I, I, have answered, I, have, I have answered this. If we are to worry about our neighbor and what is the differences that we have, and, and then you are going to stop the evolution. The evolutions in the leagues are going to be independent. It's, it's just be worried about how the league in Major League Soccer can keep evolving and how the league in Mexico, who has been historically huge, can keep that evolution going because the step that the Major League Soccer is going, they're speeding the things up. A and then instead of just being in the comparison mode, I think every league is going to be in their own dynamics and going and growing and 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 that's what it matters. Are for you me. competing for the same pool of players, or are, are, no. are, are you looking for are you looking in totally different places than the MLS? Team? No, is is uh, the the global market has been has changed too. You know, Explain I that. think it's uh, before years before. I want to say 20, 30 years ago, and the, the markets were very specific. Let's say uh, the um, uh, Mexican league can go and find players in Argentina, in, in, in Colombia, in South America. Uh, Major League Soccer, he has been a league, he already has 20, 22, 23 years. The market has been has been probably more South American, Central American, right. and, 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 and a couple of players coming from, from Europe, now not many. Now the global market has been, which is, is, is large itself, uh, has been expanding the leagues and Mexican leagues or Mexican teams can go and find a, a, a player in, in, in Serbia. That would not which probably is amazing, right? It's amazing. And how much, is, is social media have anything to do with that? I think everything just, just matter, yeah. Because yeah. now, now it's, it's a, you can find right. good players everywhere, right? Well, you've seen, you, you seen games every day from everywhere in, in, in your TV, are you? Absolutely. You, yeah. It so could be, you, you could be at home at 3 in the morning yeah, yeah. and be watching yeah. a live soccer match. Somewhere. Yeah, you can, you can see games from Africa, you can see games from uh, 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 the East European countries that you never saw before, and then you have them all available. Oscar, but the world still looks down on the MLS, though. Is, uh -huh. that, is, is, is their reputation improving? Is, is it becoming... Or, or are people always going to consider the Americans uh, the weak system? No, no, no. Major League Soccer is growing incredible. Is is uh, but is it getting? It's it growing no. incredibly, but is it growing in credibility? No, it's growing incredible. What happened is that the league is too young. 
but do you have a league with right. 22 and 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 the mostly of the league has 120 110 190 uh, and and then major league soccer has 22 and now they're competing high right so it, it's it's good but for me the admiration for them the major league soccer is it's going to be there because uh, and it's steady also. It, it's not it's not a, it's not like a, the 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 Chinese league uh, with all my respect, but it, it was good for one or two years. But after that, it boom. You know, major right. league circuit has been sustained. Living in Dallas, you know about the Cowboys. I'm sure you heard about that football team, right? Cowboys. <laughs> and, and, and so football, they, they had the Maverick. I, I guess why I use Dallas is. For a long time, the big four sports have been football, mm -hmm. baseball, right. basketball, hockey, in that order. But now I'm watching NBC get, become more and more mm -hmm. successful with the uh, premiership that they're, they're right. doing on the weekends. And uh -huh. I'm seeing kids now, as I walk around I'm, I'm, at my job, I'm seeing uh -huh. kids wearing soccer uniforms, often from overseas mm -hmm. or in South America. I think the tide is turning, that soccer truly is threatening one of the big how long in my lifetime will I see soccer be one of the big four sports in America? You will see that, yeah. Assuming I live long enough? Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping later. first that... Uh, <laughs> 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 I mean, but, like, say I have 20 years left. Uh -huh. In 20 years' time, because I see baseball's attendance is... <laughs> well, but let me see this, Paul. There, there is, a, there is a, a World Cup coming in the 2026. Is, is, uh, so that's what you could be that all I have to do is make it another no, um, seven uh, years yeah uh, uh, and that that's going that's going to boost much more the sport and and now the the the, the history that the leagues like uh, the, the the Mexican League has right now which is probably one of the most valuable things that a league like like this one has is it, it has that historical career you know and being being there in, in a country that is that large and everybody likes uh, to be a soccer player and 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 it's different it's different it's dynamics are different you you bring up uh the world cup you were you you wanted you applied for the uh national team job here right did you not did you I, I i I, you? I did interview for so i get an interview for it all right so so you were interested in it. Mm -hmm. I, I, see, I, I understand what you're saying about the World Cup, but if, if the United States lays another egg like they did in the most recent World Cup, I think that could also hurt the sports popularity here. What would uh, you do to change? I mean, they're, they're just miles away from you. They're training right now down in the South Bay. If, if you did have that job, how do you change the culture? How do you get them back on the right track? I think America... America has to believe, and I, I preach this to every country. I'm a foreign con coach, you know. I, I have coached for many years in, 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 in Major League Soccer, and, and now I have this beautiful opportunity to come to the league. He has such a great prestige. Uh, and, and, and I'm gonna say this, you know, the, the countries have, the countries, they have their own identity. And, and what I see uh, coming from, from Colombia, which is a, a very soccer-driving uh, country, right. crazy right. country on, on, the, on the game, uh, every country has their own identity. We, we, don't, we don't need to look like anybody else. Colombians doesn't need to look like any other league. And, and, and Mexico either, and in America either. What happened in America is that we have been in the mode of, all right, we want to be the best. How can we be the best? Uh, then we need to play like uh, the best. Who is the best? Uh, Spain, all right. N now, what are they doing that we need to do? No, Americans needs to be Americans and Mexicans, Mexicans, and then grow their, pro their programs on their, their identity and, 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 and their, 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 their own cultural part, and, 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 and that's it. For me, that has been undervalued. A couple months ago, Mark Ziegler, who covers your your organization a lot, uh -huh. he's a union tribute sports writer. I'm mm -hmm. sure you probably know him. Mark. Yes. Yeah. He sat in his chair and he he said one of the best sports experiences for San Diegans, one of the best bang for your bucks and most enjoyable night of sports, is to go see the Cholos play at right. the Stadio. It's Kelly. great. Yeah. It's great. Can, it's you, can you elaborate on that? I, and I do it, and I'm not going to say just to uh, 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 make a publicity, but I mean, I've been amazed just seeing the proximity of the people who live here in San Diego 
and how can they just take the car drive and go see Cholos play with uh, such a great stadium and, 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 and it's, a, it's a great environment because it's, it's different you know and, 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 and the people can go do that in the league he has a lot of prestige and has a lot of great players coming from everywhere he says the play he talks about right. the caliber of play great stadium great it's fans great. Yeah. Uh, ease ease of getting back and forth across yes. the border uh, friendly environment mm -hmm. friendly atmosphere safe right great to bring the kids to right right and and Mark doesn't, you know, he's a sports no, writer. He I doesn't know. say anything good about anybody. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, so, <laughs> well, you know, that's what sports writers do. So uh, he, he's got me saying, okay, all right, this is like a bucket list. Thing. Right, so yeah, like, yeah. And he says if you do it once, you're going to do it right. repetitively. Well, be, uh, you better go. We play Saturday. So I, well, wait that's for you, what we're talking about. You're here to uh, promote right. that. Uh, reach now. Not to get political, but you can't no. turn on the TV 24-7. No. Now it's the border crisis. Right, so right. Is that... 24-7, I don't want to say negativity or the, the, the crisis that is being blasted no. in everybody's living room. Is that affecting your ability to market on both sides of the border? I thought when I came from Dallas uh, a month ago uh, that because I was curious about that and, and, and I've been 20 years in Dallas and, and being 20 years with Major League Soccer in a different organization and moving to a different country and, and even is in the border, I thought about how is that border like? And, 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 and when I crossed the border, when I came to the Caliente Stadium and when I came into the organization, when I came to the Cholos game just to see him also, and when I see the infrastructure they have, the, the, the program, and I see the competition and I see, hey, this is great. But you can't have this better. You can come cross the border and see Cholos play. It's, it's a great experience. I think Indeed. politicians should be soccer fans or sports fans <laughs> because sports is the great unifier. Right. It is beautiful. And I think that I think if we had more soccer fans, we could right. solve our problems quicker. Right, right. It's beautiful. It's great. It's, it's to have somebody embracing the same idea under uh, a soccer ball. And 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 uh, and the sport in general is a, is a great way to unify people. But it's, but but our sport is great. All right. So Saturday, you want to sell some tickets for uh, uh, Saturday? It's your your own one lifetime. You want to get your right. first? Yeah. Come see we'll your do. first win, right? Yeah. Seventeen games we are. We in, we are. You're in, in your winter league now. Oh, we're going to come and win. Right. Yeah. So that Saturday, the winter league debut. Sa sa Saturday will be the win debut. Yeah. So what's the biggest cha challenge that uh, you have? Are you are you tweaking around the margins, or is this a major overhaul? No, you're well, it's coming. It's coming. Uh, one of the best teams in Mexico historically, and 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 the probably in the in the last decade is 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 the most successful team in 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 in, in, in the country, and and a, and a great coach too. So we're very excited so just to come and face them. Yes, you're going to find out how you measure up, right? We'll away. we'll find a way to do it. Uh, J Joe Corona's back, right? Joe is back too. Yes. Well, yeah. I mean, it's great. Yeah. We, we do a lot of high school soccer around right, here, right. and Joe was a big star right, on, our, right. on our sports cast. No, we'd happy just to have Joe back and 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 uh, and and have a few a few guys who have been growing here and 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 the other side of the border and and come in and be part of Cholos. That that's great. Yeah. Oscar, thank you. I know it's mm -hmm. a pain in the ass to to, uh, to uh, answer the same questions. No, it's been great, Paul. So. So uh, we're, we're going yeah. out to the main auditorium at quarter to the hour. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions you want me to ask, Oscar, please feel free to jot them down and send them down the line at KUSI.com. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we're going out to the main auditorium at 545. We're talking soccer, football. I told Oscar, I said, I want to apologize. <laughs> I flunked Spanish twice in high school. I said, don't worry, I flunked English. <laughs> 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 so we're going to communicate perfectly. We'll see you at 545. <laughs>